Hello everybody, this is a Lamley unboxing opening video. Doesn't matter, I'm just gonna open up Mini GT and Kaido House today, showcase some models, put them on this Lamley mat, and call it a day. I have been accumulating a ton of Mini GT, and I sometimes like to do shorts, I sometimes like to do other things, but I'm just like, you know what, let's just check out these models, and I even have some Kaido House over here. So let's just go for it. I've got my good old box opener. I've got mini GTs, all from mini GT, and I just want to get these open. Sometimes I just wait for showcases and I'm like, you know what, let's just get these open and then you can figure out the showcases because I'm really accumulating a very nice collection of mini GTs. So we'll start with the Red Bull Racing RB16B. This is the Max Verstappen. I hope I'm saying that. You know, it's like you read. I yeah, Anyway. Um, we've seen some F1 cars. I'm going to make a real mess of plastic over here. Um, I really like the F1 cars that uh, Mini GT has done. I'm not, I'm actually not, to be honest, a big F1. I don't follow it too closely, which I think a lot of you are saying, oh, big surprise. Um, but I do like cars that are just, you know, I don't know. There's just something about a 164 car representing whatever it's representing. Obviously, in this case, it's a Red Bull Max for stopping. Ooh, look at the helmet, too. That's pretty sweet. Look at that. Wow. I don't know if I noticed how close. I mean, I've got the super close up. By the way, if you're wondering, I'm actually... Um, I can't remember. I filmed other videos, but I don't know if I've shown them yet. I'm actually just filming this in my daughter's bedroom. Um, but it's not my daughter's bedroom anymore. It's actually, um, I'm going to put that there. It's actually what's going to be my studio in the coming months, but it's too hot outside and I've got too much going on in my office to, uh, you know what, I'm going to do this differently. I've got too much going on in my office to film there. It's just too hot outside, so we're going to put the car there and we're just going to start stacking these things. This is what happens when sometimes you shoot videos like this. You just go. All right. Porsche 911 Turbo S. IMSA Daytona 24-hour safety car. We've seen the red version of this car. Now we get the blue version. And, you know, I think I was starting to thought, like, I don't have to be an F1 fan to enjoy having um, a replica of these models. I don't pursue F1 cars per se, but, like, historic race cars current race cars. I can get behind all of them. And so oh, this is so cool. I'm not even putting these on the turntable. I'm just getting these open and figuring you can hang out with me while I do it. Um, obviously, this is rad. Rolex Deco. What's nice about these, and I know you, I mean, I, I hate to be the comparison, but these close-up videos that, that I and others do kind of show some of the flaws in Decos, but Mini GT is so tight. Worth the money. These are just, you know, these are true exact, exact, exact replicas. And it's just really kind of, kind of nice. All right, let's just start stacking these and see how we go. All right, there's another one. This is Sergio Perez, another Red Bull. Um, I am so, like, these have been coming in over the, the last few weeks. And this just gives you a chance. Now, I can even say you could get these if they're out. You know, some of them are out. Some of them are not yet. But um, J Car Diecast is a Lamley partner where you can get these. There's other hobby dealers as well. It's the best place. These don't hit retail, at least here in the United States. Very similar car. Look at the helmet there. Just amazing. I mean, super close up. Obviously, these aren't meant to be looked at this close. Your eyes wouldn't be able to focus on them. But you are able to get a good sense of the detail on these. This is more of the angle that you're looking at, and they're really nice. That's really cool. Put that right there. These roll nicely, too. Mini GT really has hit a sweet spot with collectors, have they not? I mean, it's just... There's a lot of love for Mini GT right now. It's well-deserved. Um, you know, I, I always... You know, there's a cycle of this stuff. There was a time when Matchbox could do nothing right. That's kind of changed. Seems like Hot Wheels right now with some of their decos has hit some, you know, with some collectors. Some some care, some don't. But it's, I don't know. It's just, you know, I, I but I think there's a standard being set and there's a type, a new type of collector 
that really enjoys, so by the way, this is, I should have told you, this is a Porsche 901, the 1963 Quick Blau. See, I could do a showcase on just the classic Porsches now. We have enough that Mini GT has put out there. I've, there's also, uh, you know, Tomica Limited Vintage. Tomica Limited Vintage is in a nice set of these. This is beautiful. I mean, such a contrast, right, from going from, to show you the detail there in the back, look at that. There's some emboss, like that Porsche Deco is pretty amazing. Um, I'll put that right there. But uh, there's a new type of collector that has a certain expectation for realism in 164, and that was just not achievable a long time ago. So you've got kind of a vibe with Hot Wheels. This is rad. ABT Audi RS6 R Glacier White Metallic. I'm really excited to see the wheels on this one. It's really good looking. Um, and I guess this is, you know, they've had, they've been doing the Audi wagon for a while, but this one, I assume it's the similar casting, but anyway, um, but yeah, this is allowed, and Tomic Illumina Vintage has existed a long time at their realistic castings, but their approach is very specific to kind of a, you know, cars you see on the road. Wow. This is amazing. The lighting in here is bright. It's a little yellow. I like it, but you're getting a sense of these cars. That's really pretty. I dig the Audi RS6 Avant, and this one is awesome. Um, I'll show you just one of the details. These are rubber, so they can take a little bit of a hit, right? I mean, I think most people are aware of that, but... Anyway, I think they've invited a new type of collector that likes realism. So you see sometimes the comments, you'll be like, oh, you know, why would you buy this Hot Wheels at this price? You can get a Mini GT. And there's collectors like that, but there's collectors like Hot Wheels too. And this isn't a defense of Hot Wheels. It's just to say, like, it's kind of neat to see, you know, I mean, there's, there's, a there's a place to like both brands, but I also totally get it when there's collectors who would rather have this kind of realism as opposed to more what we'd call maybe a, rep a representation of a car with hot wheels and you know there's a certain kind of vibe and everything but but what mini gt and some of these other brands are doing is really inviting kind of a new type of scrutiny and a new boy that's awesome look at the headlights on that um just you know kind of a new type of collecting a new type of appreciation and you know you've got realism you've got the fact that these roll the fact that there's some simplicity to the casting so they can take, you know, somewhat of a beating. I'll say somewhat of a beating. Um, you're not going to roll them down the driveway per se. But, and they're, you know, and then you're, and you're also going to get, um, you're going to get a variety of cars. You're going to get, and you're going to get some, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's just, the, it's just a different kind of collecting experience, right? Anyway. And then you can like Hot Wheels too. Mustang. Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. I have I have more plans. I you know it's funny because one of the one of the things that I just notice so much so all just all the time with collecting is like it's so fun to put these cars together with other cars. You know, I'd like to put all the Mustangs together, all the mini GT Mustangs, maybe even with other brands. But there's so much good stuff that it gets somewhat overwhelming. So, you know, space and be able to say, oh, I want to do a video showing all of these cars together. Um, it becomes somewhat hard to do because you just because there's so much of it. And to the point where it's just like, you know what? I got all these cars. Let's not get cute. Let's just show them. Look at that carbon fiber spoiler. Put that on the. It's just so nice how they roll. All right. You know what I'm saying? And I've just been noticing that lately. I've just been like, oh, there's so much I want to show, so much I want to do. And then I just go, all right, just open them. Okay, this BMW is awesome. I've seen some images of this one outside of just the packaging. I'll show you. BMW M4 CSL, CSL and Alpine White. So this is going to have, you know, some, some reference to the old racing BMW. I can 
get this out. There we go. Whoa, that is so nice. So dig in the wheel on this one first and foremost. And then you go back and it's like, look at the hood, the roof detailing. Don't drop it. It's just an amazing car. Front grille is nice. Trying to hold it steady. Look at that BMW logo there. That's a pretty amazing cast. So far, that's my number one. Yeah, that's my number one so far. Although I, that Audi is up there. Porsche is cool too. Now let's keep going. All right, I've also really been digging these. Let's see if I can get that one. There we go. CPT cars are just so cool. And they've been coming almost every mix that uh, Mini GT puts out there. It seems like we're getting another one. This is another Cadillac. I think I might have two here. Yeah, I've got another. We'll get to that one here. Oh, two Cadillacs. And what I love about Mini GT2 is they're not afraid to do, you know, this model and this model, which they have, you know, to the naked eye, just some subtle differences um, look like the same. And then you go and you can see some of the other details. That's the same with these. I mean, you're creating quite a fleet of race cars. Here it is. I'll do another video or something with all these together. I try and get them all together because they're so fun to see together. Whelan. There's the Cadillac Deco there on the top. Oh, it's just, these are just the coolest. Just the, just the precise detailing in the spoiler and in the paint. Look how, I mean, we're so close up. That's pretty amazing. Look at that. Just special. Special, special, special. I go back and forth on like whether it's race cars or stock cars. Here's another Lincoln. Um, and it's like, I guess it just, I can like it all, right? But I think the, the race cars are kind of more fun to display, I think, just because of all the detail. But it has to be, you know, the race cars have to be done well. And I, you know, there's a lot of brands that can do them well. I think Hot Wheels does some good ones, but Mini GTs, I just, I think this is becoming their bread and butter. Tarmac does some really nice race cars too, but they tend to give it their hobby, put it in their hobby line, which are more display cars. But this one, these you can just, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Look at the emblem there on the front. 1954. See, this one is more of a modified one. Did I show that box? What does it say? Hot Rod. So this is the Hot Rod version. So some of the details are gone. See in the bumper? Wow, that is... I didn't realize that they did a Hot Rod. I was just looking at this and not even figuring out that they had done this. Look, so yeah, that is slightly lowered Hot Rod version of the Lincoln Capri. And then you have this more factory version with the white walls. I, funny how I didn't even notice that. Here, I'll put, got to put these together. I'll put this back here so you can look at it again. That is some, look at the exhaust. Wow, that is cool. That is cool. This thing can go here. See, this is why I like putting these together because then you notice, oh, there's some real things going on here. All right, let's do the other Cadillac. This looks similar to some of the others, but I, you know, obviously if I were to take them all out, you would see some changes there. I don't know if this is the same. I think it's the same casting. Looks to be. I mean, it's the same, it's the same Cadillac, right? I don't know if there's other body details is what I'm looking for. I don't think so. There's so much nice weight to these. Let's 
keep going. Z. Nissan Z Pandem. Passion Red. I think there was a blue that already came out. I think I've showcased that one. So we'll look at it. We get a little bit better sense of the body with the red one. Wheels are awesome on this one. Obviously the body kit gets a little bit of a shark nose vibe there. That's kind of cool. Sits wide. That's pretty nice. Candy apple red. Put that one right back there. Got a few more. Put that here. This is one I'm not going to open because I do have a feature for this one planned. This is the Super Silhouette, and I got an ad band thing going. So I'll just show it to you. I'm not going to open the model yet because there'll be a feature coming. Liberty Walk, obviously. So I'm just going to put that right over here. But the rest I am going to open. Aston Martin Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Sunburst yellow. Casting's really well done. I'm not real keen on this car. And I think I mentioned this in the last video I did, but I just, the car itself just kind of, I mean, it definitely has this hypercar vibe with this kind of really well done chassis. It's pretty fascinating. I just, doesn't really strike my fancy. Honestly, if this were driving by, I'd be like, eh, well, cool, I guess. It's just a little too extreme for me. Some of these hypercars, you know, I, I don't know. It's, it's my own preference. Some people love hypercars. I guess when you've got style like the some of the Paganis and the Koenigsegg's, I can get into it, but not all of them. It's just some, some of them are cool. Some of them... Um, that's my own preference. I can appreciate them, of course. Obviously, the technology that goes into them, but I don't, you guys have to tell me what you think you can say. This one seems to be kind of a little crooked. You might say I'm like, I, like that. I'm kind of an idiot for that. Maybe I'm not, maybe, but I just you know, there's cars that are more interesting to me. I don't think hyper cars are that interesting. Not to say that you know, I don't know what like a. Kia Sportage is more interesting than a Pagani, but I don't know. In some ways, it is. But I won't argue that, right? I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna try and get in that argument. I will lose quickly. Lamborghini Countach in yellow. Nice casting. Cars kind of. Um, they're gonna go wrong way on this road. Another one that. It's fine. That box is kind of, we'll put it here because it's seen better days for whatever reason. All right, here we go. Another Honda Civic Type R number three, pace car in blue. Seems to kind of match that Porsche, but doesn't need to. Wasn't meant to. Right, you guys can tell me comments like, what, what cars are you into these days? Like real cars. Like what's, you know, Cybertruck's a lot of talk. Some people like it. Some people don't. Obviously, it's got... True mixed opinions. Here's the Honda. This is nice. I feel like there was a red one of this. Am I getting that wrong too? Or am I just mixing that up with the Porsche? Look how nice the details are on the front there. Even the mirrors. Separate pieces for the taillights. Just an, and that spoiler is really nice too. Nice. I, I don't know what kind of cars I'm into these days. I, I, I sometimes find that whatever the commuter car is that people, I mean, it's just the technology. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm, I think that's why it's like most cars, I don't know. I don't know what I like, you know, right now. It's still, it's still probably classic cars. I just like looking at classic cars, like having replicas of classic cars. They're more interesting. I don't mind the industry going towards electric vehicles, but 
Yeah, I just think I'm so into design that I don't think the designs, well, this is a cool design. I'll say that. Look at the color on that. This is cool. What was this one? I didn't even show it. 4GT 64 Prototype Heritage Edition. I love this stuff. I love when they take this deco, like vintage decos, and add it to the new GT. Look at the engine on that. That's a really pretty color. Boy, this one is a surprise. The mirror soft, so they can take a little bit of a hit, but those are beautiful. What a cool model. All right, so BMW is taken, but I don't know if 4GT is now number one for me from this batch. Maybe the CPTs, I don't know. I really dig those. Put that there, and then, oh yeah, yeah I said there was a red one, because it was sitting right here, I hadn't even opened it yet. So we got the red Civic, and then we'll do the Kaido House models. I guess when it comes to cars, just give me stuff that's interesting, because I just I just mentioned the Kaido House models, and I like, they're interesting. So I just like, you know, the replicas of the cars. I like replicas of real cars. There's a, that scratches a certain itch. Um, creative artistic cars scratch another itch. This is exactly the same as the blue, isn't it? But cool that they did both colors. That's nice. Put that right there. And let's do some Kaido House. So, you know, it just depends. Some days, some, some days I'm in a full replica mini GT mood, others times I'm in something more artistic. All right, let's do Kaido House. Obviously Kaido House is designed by Juna Mai. Different packaging, but all under the mini GT badge. This is the Nissan Fairlady Z HKS Volume 1. We've seen HKS, what is it, the Skyline? No, have we seen it? No, we've seen HKS Datsun, right? I don't know if we've done another one. Maybe he has, I'm trying to remember. So we get the Datsun Z for this one. I can show you a Super Oil HKS. The packaging's fantastic. There's the model. Still sent by the Mini GT crew, right? Look at that. Deep barrels, Yokohama tires. Let's see if I can... There, you can see how deep that barrel is. Should roll pretty well, and it does. Soft mirrors. And then the engine. Oh, this way. Let's see if I can get it open. Well, first off, once you open it, you can see through the bottom, which is cool. And there it is. Oh, what a cool color. That's sweet. I'll show you the back of it, too. Full HKS wrap. It looks awesome. Here, we'll um, I'll move the GT over here, and I'll move the Honda Pace. Here, this is what we'll do. There, these are going that way. These can go this way. How about that? We'll close that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Just put them off to the side. I'll cut it and then I'll show it to you. Nissan Skyline GTR R33 Active Carbon R Volume 1. I think we've seen a carbon version of... This is the R33. Have we seen the R34 carbon? No, we've seen it of the Datsun 510 Pro Street. See, some he'll do a matte, a matte color or kind of a matte finish on the packaging, and other times he does more of a gloss. Kind of like that. Cool. There it is. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Really, really thin tires on that one. Almost too thin. But I think that's kind of the vibe on this one. Or maybe it just shows up differently. Show you the engine. Ooh, that's a nice color. Gretty. GTR. 
show you the back full carbon fiber up close it takes on it doesn't take on as much of that carbon fiber look so you got to kind of look at it at this angle but it's really nice it's a you know i my um i've always said this about kaida house models is it's such a it's such a specific vision that i think it's i think it's kind of expected that there's some you're going to like better than others or there's going to be some you like less than others and that carbon fiber is not my like it doesn't speak to me like say the HKS Dotson does. Here's a wagon. Dotson Kaido 510 wagon. Hanami. I hope I'm saying that right. Version three. We've seen, I think we've seen this in different colors. Let's see if I can get that. There we go. Yeah. Boy, this one's really trying to be difficult. There we go. This one I think has been out a while. I just haven't opened it yet. See, I told you I've been trying to save some. That's pretty. Cherry blossoms. Oh, that's nice. Wheels on this one really speak. I love that it's just gone full alloy there and like this full metal. Barrels and rims. That's really nice. Deco's, Deco's pretty nice. I just, I think I like, I think the wheels stand out the best for me on this one. Ooh, engine in white's nice too. That's pretty. That's a pretty one. White exhaust is cool. Put that one here, and I've got two more. Fairly new. I think these are just coming out. We've seen this. Uh, this is a modification of the Skyline casting of the R34. It's a Nissan Skyline GTR 34, the Kaido Racing Factory Volume 1. This, like, with the, this one had intakes before. He's kind of smoothed those out, changed the design a little bit for the kit, for the modification kit. And he did it on a police car. We've done, I've shown that one. I think in a short. So this is the first one. It's got obviously a like a classic vintage Skyline racing deco. It's kind of a cool homage deco. That's cool. And in this beautiful, could you say cherry blossom pink? I don't know. But wheels, nice color on the wheels. The signature Kaido House Zero. Show you the engine, of course. That's pretty. So yeah, it's kind of got just these big, this big wide kit. Different than the other one. I don't have one in front of me to to show, so I won't. But um, but it is it is different than the other than the other R thirty fours outside of that police car. So that's nice. This has been. I don't know. You guys tell me, you big Kaido fans, are is this the casting now? I mean, I know there's others coming that are interesting, but has the Acura NSX been kind of? It seems like it's been a really popular, really popular model. This one, Honda NSX Kaido Racing Version One. I should say Honda. Did I say Acura? In pure Japanese form, it's done as the. Honda NSX, VTEC, Kaido, there it is. That cool purple base. And then this one has a lot of details to it. If you haven't seen, I don't know if I've talked about this one in videos as much, but it has the opening headlights. You just have to go to this little notch. They don't open a ton, but enough. You just press that back. Where is it? Them to, and then there's the opening portion in the back here. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Has two opening parts: the the window and that kind of cover piece to show the engine. So I can do that, and then it closes, and then you have the window like that, and then of course you can whoop, close that too. I like the plain yellow version, and then there was the um, limited edition in green that he did. I like those the best, but this deco is cool. Obviously, more Kaido House, kind of heavy Kaido House deco. Love the green seats on that. This has just been, this has been one of the more interesting Kaido House. I mean, they're all interesting, but like taking this to an NSX, to the classic NXS is just really cool. And it's such a great silhouette, and it really is cool from the back and from the front, too. It's pretty sweet. 
I think we did it. I'm gonna listen back to this video and go, dude, I sound tired and there's a reason because I'm shooting this late at night and I just wanted to get these open so I can showcase them for you. I've got, like I said, that little ad van in the corner. I got some ideas for that one, but I'll get ideas for these too. They're pretty sweet. You guys tell me what you think. I wanna know what your favorites are. We just opened up a bunch of mini GT. If you like videos like this, I'll do more. We'll just open a bunch of stuff because I got tons of stuff uh, to do like that, like even tarmac. You guys tell me what you think. Thanks everybody. Bye.